Hello Taurus and Cross Watchers. Thank you guys so much for joining in. Hope everyone is doing well. Today we are going to take a look at your week ahead tarot reading for February 23rd through the 29th. Please keep in mind guys the messages here on YouTube are general. They're not going to resonate every time with every person. You are more than welcome to check other signs in your birth chart. It's really about the title. If there's something in the title, there's most likely something in the message. I also want to touch really quickly on energy and time is fluid. So you might find that this has already happened or a lot of times people say this has happened at a later time. However, I do ask if you find the messages helpful, please give it a thumbs up. Or if you would like future messages, feel free to subscribe as everyone is always welcome. So Taurus, let's get started. We're going to say a little blessing here before we shuffle out of the cards. So please spirit, we thank you for the most positive and guiding message for our subscribers. Please allow positive guidance through whatever our friends need to hear. And please protect me, the viewer and the cards from any negative energies. Thank you again, spirit and blessed be. So let's see. Let's see here, Taurus. We're going to pull a couple oracle cards just to tap into the energy surrounding the situation at hand. Take what resonates, leave the rest. Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Please and thank you, Spirit. What does Taurus need to see for the week of February 23rd through the 29th? Peace and thank you, Spirit. There's definitely a decision that needs to be made here. I feel like you could be ruminating over this a little bit. I do feel like you are headed towards a new opportunity. Um, there may be some information that you need to seek or information that may come in to help you make this decision. Weighing the pros and cons may help. So let's see here, Taurus, what we can see about this decision. Decisions, decisions. Let's get an overview message with the fairy tarot. And we will pull out a different deck dig a little bit deeper for Taurus, February 23rd through the 29th, Spirit, please and thank you. Taurus, February 23rd through the 29th, please and thank you, Spirit. So I feel like there's some deception here, um, some holding back. I feel like there is a new opportunity that's on the horizon, but I feel like there's some changes that need to be made before this will come completely into fruition. Okay. I do feel like the ego card is devil energy. In this case, though, Taurus, I'm getting the sense that this is maybe a belief system, an outdated belief system, outdated approach to scenario, okay? Maybe you're used to um, working hard, and there may be some abundant opportunity that's coming in where you may not have to work as hard for things to come together. And that may be where this change comes in. So let's get a couple more cards. The awakening card in this deck is the hanged man. So this is um, waiting. It's like a... I feel like this is, to me, this is like 
when a butterfly goes within a cocoon, you know, a caterpillar goes in their cocoon to transform into a butterfly. There's definitely changes that are being made, but also if you think about it, when that butterfly is done transforming, it has a completely different perspective coming out. Communication is going to be key. So there's definitely a lot of indecision coming out here, okay? A lot of cards indicating there's a decision that needs to be made. And I feel like this decision needs to include focusing your plan, your thought process, with your eye on the long term. And don't rush this plan. Don't be too hasty. Try to sit, try to think, try to be practical about this situation. Now, I'm definitely getting a sense of more work related. However, for some of you, this very well could be a relationship. So let's see, we are going to use the Gilded Tarot. These cards are pretty colorful to me. Sometimes they're, I have certain decks I like to use because the colors and how the pictures stand out to me, how the pictures speak to me, I guess. So let's see here, Taurus, let's break the situation down, okay? Because there is some deceptive energy coming out here, um, needing to kind of maybe review it to make a plan with your eye on the long term. I do feel like having a sense of what the outcome looks like or what you envision your life being when you get to that point is going to be beneficial. So let's see. Four of Swords in reverse. So I feel like, so the Four of Swords in reverse is coming out of healing, okay? I feel like you are, you're feeling like you're ready to come out of healing, but there's still some processing that needs to take place. I do get the sense here that there has been a lot of turmoil up to this point. If this is a relationship, there's been a lot of turmoil in that relationship. If this is in career, I feel like either you've had a very tough time at your jo present job or have maybe even gone through multiple jobs, okay? But I feel like you've had a tough time here up to this point. And that's what the Four of Swords in reverse with the Nine of Wands. The Nine of Wands is like the baggage card. Uh, the water under the bridge. So let's see. Let's see for Taurus. Spirit, most important message for Taurus. For... Mm. Okay, so something has ended. Now, this very well could be relationships. H however this is playing out, something has ended for something else to take its place. But I feel like you may not be able to see that new thing yet. And also with the Ten of Swords, this is like being enlightened, right? You've learned something from the situation. Even from going through this ending and how everything is played out, there has been a lesson within all of this, okay? And I feel like you have learned that lesson. Knight of Pentacles, slow and steady wins the race. Slow and steady wins the race. That may very well be what you've learned here, Taurus, is not to be so hasty, not to be so um, quick-footed when it comes to the long term, right? When it comes to your future, when it comes to certain things that are lining for your future, get one more card out here for the world card because the world card is the completion of the cycle 
Now we do see several cards that are symbolizing here. There has been a completion or there will be a completion. Okay, so this explains it, the death card in reverse. I do feel like you have gone through an ending. For some of you, this ending may not have happened yet. If it hasn't happened yet, I feel like you can sense that this is going to take place, okay? But there's something here that you're still holding on to. With the death card in reverse, there's something that you're still holding on to from your past that needs to change, that needs to be let go of, okay? You're not wanting to, I feel like you may intuitively know what this is, but you're like, no, we're not changing that right now. We're not changing that. It could be some type of partnership. But this change is coming. Whether you want this change to happen or not, it's all happening. When things, certain things we do have free will over, there are other things that are faded in our life, events that are faded. And we do have, you know, the free will to choose whether we learn that lesson now or later. But the lesson will always come back around. Mm. So I do feel like you had a very strong connection or do have a very strong connection with a the person. They could be a Scorpio, okay? They could also be an Earth sign. Okay, we really have all the elements out here, but as far as like people, as energies, um, the death and the night. Okay, it's usually lovers is Gemini as well. So a Gemini, dealing with the Gemini. However, this soul tie, we'll call it, is causing a lot of grief causing a lot of stress. I feel like there's a lot of sleepless nights that may be had. There's a lot of um, contemplation, maybe even missed opportunities that you've not taken full advantage of because you're focused on this past situation, this soul tie. What I feel like it's coming to, <clears throat> you're going to have to make a decision whether you want to stay here with this person in this soul tie or move forward. Take your time when making this decision and try to be practical. With the four of pentacles to the king of pentacles, okay? being grounded, being stable, focusing on what's best for Taurus, what's going to make Taurus happy. You know, that's why it's important here to get a grasp on what you envision the outcome being. That way you can see if this person is going to align with that outcome or if they're going to be a hindrance moving forward. One thing we do see here, Taurus, is there's definitely a decision that's going to need to be made. Um, there are some things that you're going to have to let go of that aren't going to be able to come with you. Take your time. I am going to do an extended reading on this, Taurus. We will take a look at this person's intentions that you can't let go of. And we will also take a look at um, next steps forward, where this is headed, some extra messages, pulling out the psychic tarot, we'll pull out the guidance and the soul truth over there in the extended. So if it's something you guys are interested in, you are more than welcome to join. Link is below. Let's get a couple cards for your advice here, Taurus, moving forward. Advice for Taurus spirit. What advice does Taurus need to see in the situation? I knew it. 
let it go let it all go let this tower fall okay um, if they are a soulmate, if they are a twin flame, they're going to come back around. Try to have an understanding that we have multiple soulmates. Everybody does. Sometimes we only meet one. Sometimes we meet multiple. But you're definitely not going to meet anybody by focused on the past. Fate is at play here. So taking some time away from this person is going to be beneficial for this relationship regardless, but I feel like there needs to be kind of more of this grounded approach. What I see here, Cancer, Cancer, could be dealing with a Cancer. What I see here, Taurus, is in order to bring this person in, you're going to need to recalibrate the connection that's inevitable. What you're going to have to decide though, Taurus, is is this going to be a recalibration of this relationship or are you going to move forward into a different opportunity, a new life? The choice is yours. Let's get your power thought card, guys. For Taurus. My healing is already in process. This card comes out a lot. I love it. My willingness to forgive begins my healing process. I allow the love from my own heart to wash through me, cleansing and healing every part of my body. I know I am worth healing. My healing is already in process. So, Taurus... That is the message I have coming out for you guys. Thank you so much for all your love and support. Thank you for liking, subscribing, sharing the content. You guys are all amazing. And I look forward to seeing your beautiful souls again soon. Namaste.